Hi everyone, it's Jeannie again, and I, after showing my sewing tag, I had several requests to show um, how I made my uh, dress pattern flowers. And so I want to um, just give you a quick tutorial on these. These are very, very simple. Um, and I have to give credit where credit is due. I believe I did actually see somebody on YouTube make a flower out of a dress pattern. And I, honestly, I cannot remember who it was. It was a while ago. It may have been Tim Coffey, um, but I'm not for sure. So whoever first made a flower out of the dress pattern tissue paper, um, uh, I'm sorry that I don't remember who I saw do it first. Um, but um, anyhow, but the tech, this technique was not the flower that I saw out of a dress pattern. This technique I actually saw um, um, a gal named Samantha do, and she's at like Pinkaboo 6691 or something. I will put her name on the in the down bar on the screen. But um, she used this technique out of pattern, just out of regular pattern paper, I believe, and showed this technique. So I sort of put the two together um, when I made my sewing tags. So basically I have, I can't see because of my terrible tripod, I cannot see my camera while I'm filming while I'm doing this tutorial. So um, that's why I have this green piece of paper here. And I hope that um, I stay in frame. Um, so of course I'll check it before I get, um, you know, before I upload it. Um, but basically for this technique, you'll need, um, I used a, um, scallop punch. Um, this is, this happens to be the, the Stampin' Up one, and I'm not sure if it says the dimension on it, but you could use really any size that you had. Just bear in mind that the flowers come out quite a bit smaller than the actual diameter of your scallop. Um, you will need, um, of course, some dress pattern. Um, and just a tip on this is you'll want to have it folded several times um, because it's, easy, it's just easier to punch, punch through. The single layers kind of tear in the punches. So um, you'll want to have it folded um, three to five times in order to get a nice clean punch. Although if they are a little bit ragged, it doesn't really matter in the end result. Then you'll need um, a paper piercer and some kind of a piercing mat. I just have a um, mouse pad here. And then you'll also need a brad of some sort. And I just have a little, the brad will not show. So I would use an inexpensive one uh, that you don't think you'll use. If you have some that are kind of a weird color or whatever, um, it doesn't really matter. So basically what you wanna do is you first are going to punch out your um, scallops. And uh, like I said, you'll want um, a couple or probably th at least three to five thicknesses of um, of the dress pattern. And then I like to be, kind of be able to see where I'm going because I think the flowers look nice when you have some of the black printing on them. So um, basically you just wanna you know, punch them out. And um, to save time, I have already done that. Now for this flower, with the ones that Samantha showed, um, she did, um, I think it might have been cardstock or pattern paper um, that was more thick than this. And so she, I think maybe she did six or seven, six or eight layers. Um, for this flower, you, I'm saying you're going to want 12 to 15, um, simply because it's so thin. Um, that you'll you'll just want several layers to make a nice full flower. So anyway, um, I could add these if I wanted to. I th believe I have 15 layers right here. So, um, and it doesn't have to be exact, but um, basically, then what you want to do is you want to find the center and pierce a hole through the flowers like that. And I like to I like to switch um, put my piercer all the way through so I get a big enough hole that I can thread my brad through. And then when you have that done, you'll take your brad and put that through. And then you'll open the brad on the back side. Now you can see with this flower, I actually have, um, I have staggered the scallop on the petals. You don't really necessarily need to do that if you don't want to. Um, this is just my pile. I think on the ones I made for my um, flower tag, um, I think they were all lined up. 
and um, they got a little bit staggered when I was moving the piles around and it, it really won't matter and like I said it won't matter too if you do have some torn edges because you can um, kind of trim them up when you're done with them but basically so there that's what you do and then you have your brad in there and I like to make sure to keep the brad flat pretty flat at this point and then what you'll do is you'll just start taking the individual layers and these can be this can be kind of tricky just to get them separated and then you just start crinkling them into the center just like that and this can actually go pretty fast you could probably even do two at a time if you want to um, I hope my camera is focusing since I can't really see what it's doing I'm trying to stay low here so it maybe can focus but let me do these up real quick and again you just keep pulling the layers to the center and squeezing them making them nice and tight and it doesn't look like much when you're working with it um, but you'll be able to see the flower kind of come come to life here as you're as you're folding up the layers and the more layers that you use um, the more full your flower will be um, but also kind of the more bulky it will be and like I said mine were pretty bulky because I was doing a tag um, and so it didn't it wasn't like going to be closed into a scrapbook page or whatever but um, but really you could use this technique for any kind of um, with any kind of tissue paper uh, if you look back at my videos I have a video where I actually did them out of um, I did them out of um, actually paper towels that I had ha were in the bottom of my glimmer mist um, box and so I went ahead and just um, made some out of those and those turned out kind of pretty too and they, of course they were multicolored because they were glimmer misted now you could um, with this particular flower I would if I wanted to ink the edges I would probably do that after I went ahead and got all the petals folded up um, and I'll show you why I mean just I just think it would be easier than trying to to do the individual all these individual very thin layers of tissue but really you could do any kind of tissue paper I mean you know, all the printed tissues that are out there um, you could go ahead and do those sorry I'm kind of fumbling with this it's harder than it seems and I'm not as you guys know I'm not very great at the tutorial thing because of my tripod I need an arm on it and so I've been kind of shopping for one but I don't know if I'll get anything anytime soon I will be showing you guys a um, I did do a little bit of damage at the Hobby Lobby paper sale so I will show you I'll probably film that after I'm done filming this there I'm gonna start doing two at a time probably should have had these in stages guys sorry again you can Keep working on your layers. I keep folding them up and just getting a nice good crinkle. And like I said, I would probably take the time to do them all individually if I wasn't going to bore you to death by doing that. Um, do my last layer here and then you can see what you have is just this little wad okay hopefully I'm still in frame and then what you want to do with your little wad is I like to take my paper piercer again and then just start um, fanning out the flower kind of from the outside you just start working it open And there's really a lot of play in these if you um, you know if it if it ends up coming out kind of a little lopsided you can certainly um, you know fix it a little bit and kind of maneuver them they're very forgiving Oops, sorry guys I'm kind of all over the place here I'm trying to keep it in the center but basically you just open it up kind of fluff it up now you can glimmer mist these but you don't want to get the the paper too wet 
because um, it will um, kind of make it limp. Um, and there you go. There you have it. it. Looks like a little chrysanthemum, I think, to me. Um, also, this is where if you did have some torn edges from your um, coming through your punch, um, you can take scissors and just if you have any parts that are sticking up, you can kind of give them a little bit of a haircut. If there's any edges that are sticking up, this one this one came out pretty good. I would probably use it just as is. I might fuss with it a little bit more um, but there you have it and I just put them on you can use hot glue or and then you have your brad on the back and I just put them on with um, I believe I put them on with glue dots so anyway that's the little um, dress for, dress uh, pattern flower that I made for those tags and if you have any questions about these feel free to let me know thanks guys take care